selected a partner and then you collectively with the partner designed the data center mm -hmm. and also involved your, uh, your, your data center designers to allow Dell to provide feedback and have input into how we would optimize the facility for our modules. That approach up front was very unique mm -hmm. and very much appreciated and really allowed us to, to demonstrate what we're capable of and at the end of the day delivering to you guys you know, a revolutionary and cost efficient solution. Well, I just wanted it to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> In yeah. the end, I wanted it to work. We knew from our site philosophy that we had to keep it as low cost as possible. So we took this needs versus wants approach and said, what do we really need, right? And let's, let's set a goal to be at a less than a million dollars per megawatt, right? And Ryan looked at me like, oh, this guy's crazy. And we pursued that to try to suss out what was really the things that were needed to deliver a compute site. And we found that Dell was willing to actually deliver or help us through that process. You actually, you guys were one of the few that said, hey, we actually want to be a part of that. That sounds interesting, right? Let's go figure out how we can drive out the most cost possible out of a data center so that we can figure out what is the really lowest cost. You know, it's important that, that we also highlight that it's not a science project. I mean, there's a real business mm -hmm. that relies on this stuff, and it does have to have high availability and high uptime and high efficiency, and it does it meets all that criteria as well. So for me, that's the most satisfying thing, is that it's not like we were just some group of you know scientists that got to go out there and engineer this really cool thing, and it doesn't do anything. I mean, it produces an unbelievable amount of data every day that's got real value to it. I think our goal is to try to draw a direct line between a requirement and a function right. and, and have function lead form yeah. and not put anything in that's not of value to you, right? So um, I think that was uh, paramount. That's from the chip all the way to the, to the facility. Yeah. There was, uh, there was also an aspect of not, I know from our side, of not taking the easy way out um, in some areas where there was some lack of definition or lack of clear requirement. If we even had discussions, hey, you, you need a roof or not? I said, well, we, we think we need at least chimneys, but we don't know right. for sure. <laughs> a roof would be easier, but it's going to be cost effective. You know, and it really challenged us to go back and say, hey, how can we get smarter at solving this problem? Well, I'm just so proud of the, the end solution, right? The, not only the relationships that we've gained with Dell, but just the end solution getting to, you know, one million dollars per megawatt and a site that you know, we'd have never been able to be deployed at that level if we would have taken the traditional approaches. So a perfect example of one of the challenges that we had to overcome together, right? You guys came to us and said, you know, traditionally you, you guys use three weeks. From when the unit lands, you give you all of your like inner module connections as well as the commissioning of the unit, making sure that it's, it's ready to be handed over. You know, Ryan came to us and said, look guys, we know we've, we've worked through this, but we really need a week back. How are we together going to figure out how to, one, allow you guys, being Dell, to commission and finish the unit, but at the same time also allow us to be able to be up and running um, for the majority of that time? How can we work together to overcome that? And we did. And we sat down and we, we worked through our test plan and where the breaks were. And yes, we worked late some nights and early some other mornings, but together we collectively achieved each of our objectives by you know what could have been potentially had we not had the relationship a very confrontational experience so I think that is a great example of you know us overcoming a challenge that really was unplanned unforeseen it was in our face and within a matter of minutes hours we were able to come up with a solution that we were both happy with so you know that to me the relationship aspect being able to work through those types of issues and um, you know being open and forward with each other, that's, just, that's a testament to our, our success, really.